out this part. Party was great. It's Friday morning, already quite late, so about time to get ready. I don't know why, but I love the sound. Today it's time to get the last bits done on my track Shadows. Um, it's actually only left to take care of the automations. That's something that doesn't make a whole lot of fun. Um, mainly because logic is really bad in it. If you move things around, the automation is not really working. And if you're asking yourself what automation is, let me explain it to you really quick. For example, here at the beginning of the track, I have a distorted piano, an arpeggiator and the vocals. And I want the arpeggiator not to start right at the beginning. I want it to slowly volume fade in. And for doing that, you need automation. By pressing A, you go into the automation mode. And here the yellow one is already the volume. And I'm lowering the beginning to 0 dB and the end to minus 13 dB. The volume fader is now slowly moving up because I've programmed it in with the automation. The higher the automation goes, the higher the volume fader is moving. I could also change the automation to look like this. This would make the fader movement a lot faster. So these lines mimic the fader in this case. You can also use buses to do the same thing with reverbs, distortion, echoes and all other effects. You can basically automate everything. Also all of the third party plugins will work with automation within Logic. That's no problem. You can automate for example the cutoff of a bass. That's something really interesting. Um, putting more reverb on some things. Echo at the end of vocals. So automation is quite important, it gives the entire track a bit more of movement. Of I got now two automations on the end of the vocals, one is a delay. And the other one is the reverb of the vocals. I used both effects really subtle, this is the beginning of the track, I don't want that there is too much going on right away. What I also like to use is the automation curve tool, with it you can just bend the automations in any direction and get a steeper curve. The automation menu can be sometimes really tricky, especially if you use um, third-party plugins. For example, here I have my Diva Synth, and to find here the right thing is nearly impossible. So I'm changing the automation from read to touch, open up the synthesizer, and I just play the sound and move the fader. And because I'm in the touch mode, the changes that I just did to the cutoff are written here into the automation. The program picked for me the right setting. I don't have to search for it in the list and I can now just change the cutoff of the bass sound. I need more than the shadow of you. I'm all done with the automation, so technically speaking the track is done. But I still want to see if I can get maybe 5% out of the track, improve the mixing just a little bit. Try to feel, try to save, something we could devastate. You told me you want me, but the way you show it is hardly. a little bit it turned out to be yeah, 
eight hours just the mixing i've made nine different versions all of them just with the slightest changes maybe half a db more bass less bass a little bit more kick a little bit more chorus on the vocals a little bit less reverb a little bit more reverb blah 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 a whole lot of stuff i've tried out and I now have my final decision. It is perfect. I don't think I can make it any better at this point. And I'm super happy. Another finished track. And maybe one more quick tip. If you're comparing um, versions of your track with a Mac, there is a really easy way. You select the track, hit the spacebar. This opens up this preview window. And you skip to a certain point of the song. And with arrow down you change to the other version and click the same spot and with arrow up again you can change in between of the two instantly and compare them right away without any gap in the middle. I doubt you will hear any difference through the microphone of the camera. If you do this with iTunes or any other program there will be every time a little gap in between and it's harder to hear the difference if it's not coming immediately. I don't know when it will be released, um, who knows, I hope this year. Next up is preparing another instrumental to send it out to a singer and songwriter and um, updating my Spotify playlist. If you're interested I will put the link down below where you can check it out. I update it every week and put in there the most inspirational tracks. <laughs> It's always the same, I just wanted to change one or two things. Now I reached version 10 to 13. I think I finally have the mix down. It's all safe and good. Now it's time to leave this place. Getting the mix right is always the hardest. It takes the longest and it's the most annoying part. But when you get it right, it's the most fun. I think I got everything right on this track, so I'm in a good mood time to celebrate. I don't know what happened but here are already three trams waiting in line. This is number four and five, six and seven. That's the last one but I don't know what happened. Was that passiert? Kaput. I've asked this guy and he just told me the first tram is just not working anymore. Just getting rid of the skateboard and the laptop. New shirt, time to go. You know, actually, uh, maybe I will just listen really quick to the track with headphones and make sure everything is alright. Yeah, sounds amazing. My quick listening session took a quite a bit longer than it felt like. It's already dark outside and it's actually not that late, but I think summer is over. I knew this was going to happen. I was just too slow.